So in New Zealand, medicinal cannabis products are covered by Section 29 of the Medicines Act. So what this means is that companies cannot promote them in any way. That's why you don't see any products on our website. We can only really talk about products in very generic terms as long as we're not referencing or pointing to any specific product or uh, product formulation. A difficult one so we are going through um, a process at the moment to get our products on the market we hope that that will happen in the next few months there will be a range of products so it won't just be a single product how much they cost there's um, costing mechanisms going on at the moment but our aim is to make these medicines very cost competitive under the medicinal cannabis scheme um, the aim was to get affordable medicines to patients and that's, that's our goal. So our, our medicines will be um, a combination of cannabinoids and they will be used to treat a whole range of conditions. What exactly they will be prescribed for will very much depend on what the doctor is going to prescribe for. So the doctor will look at the ailments of that patient and then look at what treatment they've had and what benefits the medicinal cannabis might, might add to the therapy. We are not involved in clinical trials at this time, but we are looking at preclinical studies and that will help direct us to, I suppose, the most appropriate clinical trial. There's a big time and cost investment in a clinical trial and we need to make sure we get that right and we need to make sure that uh, we are targeting the right clinical therapies that our patients want. This is a big one for us. Pain and inflammation are associated with so many disease states um, and this is where medicinal cannabis has show, really shown in some of the studies that there is a big potential there. We are conducting some preclinical studies at the moment to try and determine if there are benefits in treating um, neuropathic pain. Neuropathic pain is a really interesting one um, for us because the current therapeutics are not particularly effective. So initially our differentiation strategy will be looking at drug delivery technologies, making sure that the, the drugs themselves get to the right target sites in the body, making sure that we maximise the efficacy from the dose and really just making sure that these medicines are convenient and usable for the patients. Longer term we'll be looking at other um, cannabinoids and other ingredients from the plants that may have different therapeutic effects so it won't just be CBD and THC. The biggest hurdle for cheap imports is the regulatory um, requirements in New Zealand. So the products in New Zealand, um, including CBD, are treated as medicines and there is a very strict regulatory framework and a very high um, quality standard that needs to be met. So really that only pharmaceutical companies will be able to enter that space to satisfy those needs. Further on we'll be looking at integrating the three units of Canna South from growing through to um, supply in the most co cost effective way. So we believe that we will be very cost competitive going forward. <laughs>